Hello everyone and welcome to part three of my planner piece series. If you haven't watched the previous parts yet, I highly recommend checking those out first, especially the first video that explains this whole series. I'll put links in the description below for you if you haven't watched those first. In today's video, I'll be putting my system to the test in a mini disc bound planner. This is actually a happy planner. I know you can DIY your own mini happy planner sized planner, but I really wanted to go with a pre set up planner to make it a little more um, difficult, I guess. Um, so there's that. And this is these are easy to get at Michael's, Joanne, whatever. So I really wanted to go with this. This is the vertical weekly which I'm I would have loved when I was still planning in a disc bound planner um I have planned in a classic size happy planner it was when I first started in the decorative planning community it was for the first like one one and a half two years or something like that I was in a classic happy planner um the reason that I was in a classic happy planner is because it was the vertical weekly and they did not want to do that in the mini and apparently they finally came out with that in the mini. So I would have loved that when I was still in a happy planner, but I left the happy planner because I didn't like the classic size. So there's that. Um, but I am not new to planning in discs. So at least there's that. It has been a while though. That was back in like 2015. So it's been a bit. Um, I am currently using a B6 Stology as my main planner. Again, I go through my system that I do in this, in the very first video of this series. My process for testing my planner is fairly straightforward. I set it up for the week ahead, and then I come back each night for a daily check-in of my tasks and stuff like that, migrate anything off to where it needs to go. Um, this is the normal process that I do in my B6 Stology, so it's not really any different. This process, the time spent on this process does depend on if I do any journaling or anything like that. Um, I obviously have to adjust my system a little bit based on the planners that I'm trying um, because of how my system currently functions. It's it's so free in the B6 Stology and like this one is a pre set up planner so I do have to adjust how I do some things. Um, but once I'm done with the daily check-ins, I will be doing a final review of what I thought of the planner itself, how I thought my system worked in it, if it did or if it didn't, and if I would consider using the planner as my main planner. Before I get into setting up my planner though, hi, I'm Shayna and I'm all about real planning and real life, messes, imperfections, and all. All right, here we go. This is my mini happy planner. This is an actual happy planner brand, um, not a DIY one. I know you can DIY these. I have done it in the past, but for this test, I really wanted to get an actual happy planner. So it says, trust the process. This is, this is such a gorgeous one. <laughs> I'm not into happy planner anymore. I used to be a long time ago, but this is just so, so pretty. Um, so there's this yearly calendar here and then there's like a future log here which is kind of cool this is the vertical one which I'm so happy they came out with or at least I would have been when I was still in happy planners I would have totally switched to a mini happy planner um, I did kind of work on my July monthly um, so I put my goals here on this front section here and then I put my tasks here which I didn't have a whole lot for the July and then I did actually color code all these I just didn't highlight them I put a dot instead and I think that looks so nice and clean so I put my July in here and then I didn't do anything else um the only thing I'm not going to add much to this planner um I do have this printable that I actually created in Canva um for my Canva tutorial so I'm gonna pop that in here. I just think it looks so nice with that background. It looks like it is made for this. So I really like that. And then um, on August, I did actually start working on, so there's my goals and then my tasks and again, my monthly. Um, I think I'm going to put this here I just have this acetate, acetate vellum from Michael's that I've had sitting around. I thought it was really nice here. 
And then here in my monthly, I'm going to add my low spend freebie from Hey Planner Girl. This is the personal wide size. It's not made for um, the mini discs, which I could have sized it up, but I didn't. Um, it's just personal wide size. Um, and I'm not doing my normal dot stickers. I'm just doing like a color or a color code, a code of X for no spend, O for low spend, exclamation for high spend. And then I actually have started working on putting in my weekly. I was trying to figure out exactly how I wanted to do this. I really wanted to set up July, but I just went into August. Um, so here's the beginnings of this. I have done a little bit of Saturday. I obviously don't need to set up a weekly because I can just put everything up in the top here, which is really nice. Um, and then if there's any weekly tasks, I can put them here and then migrate them to my monthly or whatever I need to do. Um, so my system would work a little differently in this, but it is really nice. I kind of want to find a reason to use this planner. It's so pretty. <laughs> and I have it, so like I want to use it, but oh my goodness. I'm going to I'm gonna try and find a reason to use this because it is gorgeous. So um, that's the setup. <laughs> Not a whole lot to this one. Um, I just have a little cloth and paper uh, sticky note here to mark my day. Um, which actually I'm using it to mark next week. So there we go. Set up. Not a whole lot this time. So for Saturday, I'm just going to go ahead and process this. Um, so I... <sighs> My video, my pocket rings video for my first part of the series was supposed to go out on Saturday. It didn't because I had some technical issues with my export. After nine hours, it completely bombed out and it just didn't work. So I had to start over and it took forever. <laughs> so that guy migrated because um, I'm going to just try that again tomorrow, which means I obviously didn't upload the video today. And... Go figure, I still have not put away my laundry. <laughs> so I was thinking about, I, I haven't decided because I obviously went into the section a little bit here with some of my, my daily tasks. Um, and I don't want to be too pressed about staying in this vertical line or horizontal line they have here. I kind of wish that they didn't have these horizontal lines here and I, they would let us put them in ourselves because like, I feel like I have to be confined to this box, and if I don't, it just looks funky. Um, I did add these secondary lines, and I'm not sure I'm going to do that next week, but it was kind of nice. Um, I, I don't think I'm going to do it again, though. I just was trying it out when I set this up. I was actually planning on setting this up quickly on camera, but I ended up just doing it. Oh, there's that. Um, I was just kind of putting stickers in here, and I'm, I'm not real sure. I could put a little bit of journaling here, and that might actually be what I do moving forward. Um... And then I have my homeschool section at the bottom. That's why I've made this horizontal line a little more pronounced. One thing I am going to do is I'm actually going to set up my trackers down here um, in this section. I'm not going to put the line here. And I'm just going to set up my tracker here. I think I'm going to do that for the next week, though. Um, because I realized I'm not going to use these for homeschool down here. So why not? So I think I'm going to set that up really quick for next week.
that looks awful, but that's okay. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put that there and then that'll be for next week. Um, so for Sunday, I'm going to go ahead and set that up now. All right, here is Sunday. I'm actually going to do my laundry tonight, so I'm going to leave that alone for now. But that's it. <laughs> that's all I got. Today was kind of a meh day. And I think... Okay, it is Monday night now. So I'm going to go ahead and flip on in to my Monday. I wrote impossibly small here. <laughs> Um, but here's the previous week, kind of how I did that. I added some more decorations and stuff. Um, fun fact, I didn't actually do my laundry last night. <laughs> um, I, I guess I could have just migrated that instead of crossing it out, but I did do it tonight. I did it tonight. I actually saved the check mark for this video. So there. I did it and it wasn't even that hard like it wasn't even that hard it's just when it's sitting in that bin and it's all dried and ready to be put away it just for some reason I can't get myself to do it went and did it we split it between the three of us I had my kid put his stuff away I put my stuff away my husband put his stuff away and it took us like two minutes <laughs> so I think that's hilarious um but um the kiddo and I are sick right now so um, I did write out our homeschool stuff for today, but we didn't get it done. Um, not sure it's going to get done tomorrow either. It's probably going to get done on Wednesday, to be honest. So I'm just going to leave it here and then I, I'll just write like an arrow or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, and then I'm, I'm not entirely sure yet what I'm going to do here. Maybe I'll do a little journaling because I do journaling in my, or maybe I'll add a sticker, like a sticker um, memory, I guess, or whatever. Um, and then I just have this, I actually had tried to do a habit tracker here and it turned out terrible. So I covered it over with some leftover stickers I have from a kit that I bought forever ago. It actually really, really matches this planner really nicely. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, but I'm going to go get a sticker, I think for this, just because we're not feeling well and nothing really got done. So let me, let me go do that. Out of my giant, my one big giant sticker book. I have other sticker books, but this is my DIY one. I think I'm going to go ahead and, oh, come on, get off the page. Use this one because I spent most of the day in bed anyway. Oh, a little not centered, but that's okay. So there we go. That's, that's what happened. Um, it is what it is. I'm not going to like bash myself for not doing too much stuff, but that's okay. Anyway, uh, that's Monday and now I'm going to set up Tuesday. So it is Tuesday now. I'm going to go ahead and check in for the day. So most of the stuff um, I got done today. I am filming my daily check-in now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop another um, health sticker on. Because while we're feeling better today, we still took it easy. Um just in an effort to make sure we were both okay. Um, and then I'm not gonna do anything here because we didn't do our homeschool as I expected and we'll probably do it tomorrow. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and work on Wednesday then. Here 
is Wednesday. Alright, here is Thursday. Okay, here is Friday. So there we go. For a final review, the pros for me for this planner are definitely that it is a similar size to the B6 Stology. I mean, they're pretty close, um, basically the same size. I think this is just a little bit less wide. Um, the other pro, depending on how you look at it, is that because this is a happy planner, it is pre-set up, so I didn't have to spend time drawing anything out, which is a plus. Um, obviously you can add to it if you have a punch that can punch the discs. Um, I definitely prefer the tool punch to the happy planner punch, but there's a bunch of them. There's the Levenger punch too. Um, there's a bunch of different kind of punches you can get for this. The, um, tool and the Levenger though, I think don't have as long as a stem on it, but they still work in it. But yeah, you can definitely add to this. So it is super versatile. Um, and the other thing is, especially this one, this one in particular is so cute, so cute. This is like screaming everything that I'm into right now. Like these colors, the rose gold, everything about the inside of the planner is everything I am into right now. It's so little and cute. It's just, it's cute. So some cons are for me that it's pre-set up, which I know I said in the pros, but um, you know, obviously, unless you DIY this, which you can completely DIY an entire planner and get inserts um, from anywhere, really, that has mini Happy Planner size inserts of their own custom inserts, and you can DIY one, which is probably more of what I would actually do if I were going to use this as my main planner, but the challenge was to fit this into a pre-existing planner, um, at least my challenge to myself, so that's why I didn't print my own inserts. Um, but because this is pre-printed, it's obviously less flexible than a blank bound planner, or even if you just had one of these with blank paper in it. The other thing that I was kind of a con to me was for the weeklies. I really appreciate that they have weekly inserts, um, vertical weekly, not horizontal weekly, I should say, but I don't like that they continued doing this horizontal line because what I found is that I write more for my tasks than I can fit into this box. And the only planner, like the only 
examples I could see on Instagram were where they didn't have very many tasks that they were writing into this and that just doesn't work very well for me because I have some days I have a ton of things I write into my daily task section even if they're not necessarily tasks. Um, so I found myself kind of writing into the second section and it looked really funky because of this line. This bottom line was great because I could put my homeschool stuff in here, but I wish that they hadn't done these horizontal lines and just left it blank, let us draw the lines in. Um, I know they can't please everybody, so maybe people are perfectly happy with this. I don't know. I haven't been following along with Happy Planner since I left mine. So, uh, and that was years ago. But I, and I would definitely... I don't know, I like this because it's all set up with the color scheme and everything, but that horizontal line though, and I know I could white it out, but I don't know. Anyway, now uh, finally though, I am personally not a humongous fan of discs. I don't like the sound that the paper makes on the discs, like there's just a specific sound, it actually just did it, that kind of is like m mini nails on a chalkboard to me. Um, I especially don't really like Happy Planner discs because they have the heart in the middle, although you can obviously get other discs. I have tons of Tool brand, like the Office Depot, Office Max Tool brand discs um, that are also plastic, but then you can also get um, metallic ones or you can get transparent plastic. Like there's all kinds of options. Um, I'm just speaking to this specific planner and I don't really like the hearts and I also don't really like the scraping that the paper makes on the discs occasionally but that's about it. Could I use this planner? Absolutely. Absolutely. If I printed my own inserts I might even try to make this work for something like I know I am like don't use a planner unless you have a purpose for it. You know like don't go looking for purposes to use a planner but i do already have this planner it is so cute as is i want to find a reason to use it because i want to keep using it and the reason to use it might just be putting in my same like just duplicating the information i have in my b6dology because this planner for some reason the design of it gives me so much joy that i don't see that as a waste if i'm doing something that brings me that amount of joy and like uh, stress relief in a sense. It's kind of like a creative stress relief even though it's not very creative. Like I'm not drawing stuff or whatever. I mean it's still creative but I don't know. I really really like it. Um, would I use it? I would. Yeah I would. I would use it. Um, especially like I said if I DIY'd my own inserts um, or not DIY but if I got printable inserts that weren't the happy planner ones. I definitely would use this size. I have been looking for a reason to use this size with printable inserts anyway. So yeah, I would and I could use this. <laughs> and I might try to now that I have one. I've been holding off on doing it because I didn't really have it. I did have um, a transparent cover that I bought. I don't remember who I bought it from, but I do have a transparent cover. I have a billion discs and I have printable inserts, but I just never really made it work for me. But I love this. I love this specific one. Um, so anyway, that's it. Um, what did you think about how I implemented my system into this mini happy planner? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments too what you think about this planner just in general. Um, I, can, I noticed that on the last one, the pocket rings, um, there were a lot of comments about what people thought about pocket rings in general, and I love that. So let me know either what you think of how I implemented it, or if you're using one yourself, or what you think of the planner itself. Let me know in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching. I always greatly, greatly appreciate it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.